interested to see how this car sounds on camera now that I took the muffler off. Um, we will see. I made it in one piece, so that's good. Boom. I'm on top of my uh, local parking garage. So, uh, one of the main things that I had done to my car while it was being fixed was I got an external wastegate. I got the Grim Speed up pipe with the tile, I think it's pronounced tile, with a 38 millimeter wastegate. And it's really, really loud. Uh, the dump tube dumps straight under my passenger wheel. Um, so it's really, really loud. And whenever I'm getting on it and the wastegate opens up, it just reeks of fuel. So I think at some point um, I wouldn't mind getting it routed out the hood actually. I know a lot of people do that, but I think I want to get it routed out the hood because the exhaust gases will just kind of roll up the windshield and over the car so I won't have to smell them as much anymore. Um, at least that's my theory. Uh, plus, I think it's pretty cool when it just comes straight out the hood. So, so I'll do that eventually. Um, but also, I know I didn't really do a nice review of it, but I did get my wheels on the car. Um, they look awesome. And the gold, it just, when the sunlight hits, they shimmer just the right way and it actually reflects stars onto the ground. Um, it's not a good day to show you that uh, with, all these, with all these damn clouds, but um, it is a thing that happens, so that's cool. Also, I got a bunch of stickers here on the back for, uh, for bonus horsepower. I got an NVIDIA sticker um, because I, I got the uh, NVIDIA um, Catless Downpipe. Grim Speed, I got a three-port uh, electronic boost control. I like them. And then I got the AEM uh, air-to-fuel ratio gauge. Uh, that helps with tuning and stuff like that. I had to get that for my tuner. And then I also bought um, also bought an access port. Uh, I'm not running the access port right now because getting an access port tuned for the mods that I have, it's kind of expensive. So I'm waiting until I get more mods that I want before I get an official like access port tune. That way I don't have to spend a bunch of money twice, I can just do it once, if that makes sense. So I am running a tune though right now, so my engine's not going to blow up. Uh, right now I just have an open source tune, because um, it's a lot cheaper to do it that way, uh, and wait until I get wait until I get some more mods. I think the only, the, only other, the only other things that I'm waiting to do are, uh, no, I want to go, I want to get flex fuel so I can run 90, uh, 91 or um, or corn or E85. That'll be nice um, because on E85 you can get a lot more power um, for, I don't know, you can get more bang for your buck I guess and, and the fuel is cheaper. So I'm gonna get E85 and to do that I'll have to get a flex fuel kit which is gonna have uh, bigger injectors, a bigger pump and the sensor so that it, it knows that there's um, that there's ethanol or E85 in the, in the fuel lines and stuff like that. So um, I'll be getting that eventually. Then I think after that is when I'm going to get the access port tuned. I don't want to do much more than that because stock block and everything, I don't, I don't need a whole lot of power right now. Eventually down the road, I would like to buy a new block and everything and just build an engine from scratch and then drop it in once that's all done. But we'll see about that. That's very expensive and time consuming. So uh, not today, but sometime. So here are my wheels. Uh, 
I don't know if I don't remember doing a super in-depth review of them, but they look awesome, honestly. They just the way they shimmer in the right sunlight is just fantastic. Uh, they're not too expensive either. They're pretty cheap. They're probably, I mean, I think they're replica wheels, but they look awesome. So I'm really, really happy that I purchased them. Um, yeah, I got brand new tires on them and everything too. So tread's good for a little while yet. And yeah. Now I'm going to show you the mods that I have in the engine compartment. Um, not a whole lot is done to this so far uh, since you've last seen it, but I do have the Cobb intake. Um, this thing is really, really awesome. You get, there's a lot of airflow going through here and it actually just opens it up so nicely that when, uh, when you actually let off the, the acceleration when you're under boost, you can hear your blow off um, or your bypass valve. You can hear it very loudly too, which is awesome. Uh, so that's one thing you can do for those of you who want, who have a Subaru and maybe you want a louder, uh, that psh noise, you can get one of these. These will help out a lot. Another thing you can do is get a Catless downpipe, which I have right there. I got the NVIDIA one. That thing is awesome, honestly. It frees up a lot of the rumble um, and you can hear a lot better with it. So that's really, really cool. And then one of the last, uh, last things I got was that wastegate right down there, uh, that shiny blue, shiny blue bugger. You can't really see it because it's all hiding in the back, but it's really pretty. Uh, <laughs> if, you can, if I can get down there without burning myself. Yeah, so that's the that's the wastegate. Actually, an external wastegate is a lot healthier for the engine. It controls boost more accurately because of the spring rates. Um, I also got this right here, this electronic boost controller, which makes your boost 100% accurate 100% of the time. Funny story, this is actually the wrong bracket, that's why it's kind of hiding. Normally it's supposed to sit up here. The website I ordered from actually gave me the wrong bracket for some reason, even though I was supposed to get the right one, uh, but that's okay, I made it work. So that's about it for uh, the mods that were done to this. When I was getting the car fixed, what the problem was is my valve clearances weren't where they should be. What happens is the exhaust valves will actually warp and kind of wear down over time. And actually, this car's got a lot of miles on it. Uh, so what happens is once they hit that certain mile mark, they'll end up just not working properly and you'll end up misfiring. And I was misfiring on all four cylinders, which is very, very bad. Um, but it's fixed now and it hasn't misfired and it's been a few weeks, so, so that's good. I'm really happy about that. Theoretically, I should be good for another 180,000 miles, which is roughly when they go bad. So that's good, I have a lot of, um, I guess insurance in that that I'm not going to blow my engine, but we'll see. I don't burn any oil, I don't leak any oil, and I don't leak any power steering fluid anymore, which is good. So I have no leaks, which I'm really happy about. That's awesome. And for a car that's got 181,000 miles, that's pretty good. So yeah, I think now I'm just going to, I'm just gonna rev up the car a little bit so you can hear it without the muffler on, because it sounds awesome. And then I'm gonna go for another drive. Um, maybe show you guys the external wastegate. Uh, we'll see, it's kind of hard to film and do that at the same time, and I don't have anybody here to help me with the vlog today. But, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys the uh, muffler delete, because <laughs> I just took it off. But, but yeah, also I, I don't have a tripod, so I'm just gonna put my phone on the ground. It's not gonna be a pretty shot, but you'll be able to hear it, so. I think I'm just gonna put my phone like leaned up against here. So you can kind of see the ass end of the car. Hopefully it doesn't fall over and break my screen or something, but. Yeah, the car sounds a lot better now. Um, you can definitely hear that Subi rumble. Uh, a lot of that was con was restricted by the 
suitcase muffler that was sitting in the back, but no longer there. I don't have to worry about it anymore. I can hear the car when I drive, and that's awesome. I really missed that so I'm glad that the muffler is gone no more muffler yeah, that's about it for the mods and stuff that's all I really wanted to show you and say at least for today's video so I'm going to drive the car home uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and get some footage in my wastegate it's only gonna be in, inside the cabin of the car because I again don't have a helper for this vlog today but maybe in a later vlog I'll show you I'll uh, show you guys the wastegate and how it sounds from the outside I'll do like drive-bys and stuff like that but yeah that's gonna be basically it so I'm gonna go drive home and we'll see if I can get some good footage I've got a feeling I'm falling falling for nobody else but you Okay, so I'm obviously back at home in my messy bedroom, but I hope I got enough footage for today's vlog. It's probably going to be a little on the shorter side, but that's okay. I got big plans coming for that car, and I'm really excited for them. Hope you guys are too, even though there's not a lot of you watching. But I do actually have 81 subscribers now, which is really cool. Next milestone, first milestone, a milestone for me coming up would be uh, 100 subscribers so if you're not already subscribed and you've gotten this far in the video just go ahead click that subscribe button turn on the bell so that way you get notified when I upload a video rarely because um, <laughs> I can't seem to keep up with the schedule sorry but there will be more content coming out you can uh, you can be sure of that and as always I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, and stay tuned for more Here with you.